Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Hollow Knight. Uh, last episode we got to the Crystal Caverns. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, I'll just turn my volume down for me because it was quite loud. Alright. Uh, that's right, I couldn't make that jump. We got to the Crystal Caverns and we made up to this bench uh, here. We are at... Um, we're at that bench there. Uh, right? Yes, we're at that bench there. That's the path that I can't jump up right there. I assume I need... I assume I get a double jump. Either in this area or... I, eh, not necessarily in this area. Probably. I've just noticed a few places where I need double jump to get places in this area. So it's possible that either I get double jump here, or I was just supposed to go somewhere else first. That's also a possibility. Oh, that's right. There was a thing up here, and I think there was a door at the top that, yeah, blocked me off. I haven't played in, like, a couple of days, so there will be some stuff that I've forgotten. No doubt. Ow. Alright, so three shot. Ow. Ow. God damn. Stop. I'm just running away. Ah, oh, that's right, there's a soul here. So let's heal that, get as much out of that as we can. Where, ah, there he is. He was inside his own crystal. Because he's a cheater. I think I can actually reflect those projectiles with my sword, well, my nail, I should say, not my sword. Because he shot it down and I hit up and it put the crystals on the roof, so I think I actually... I think I actually got rid of them. Alright, so there's a couple ways to go here. Come back! You can only hit these guys in the face, which is why I wasn't hitting him. But he just kept walking, so... Uh, whoops. Yeah, so that'll be here, which I haven't been in yet. There's a room in here. It's just like a connecting room? Well. That's certainly a thing. I guess this is a path to get this guy? Yeah, probably this way, right? Ow. God damn it. Yeah, so, oh, that's, uh... That wasn't too hard, actually. Cool. Caterpillar got. Shortcut. Well, kind of shortcut? Not really a shortcut. Oh, it stopped all of the the stompies. Well, that makes things easier, I suppose. Sweet. <laughs> that was doing more than I expected. I expected just to open the door, not to stop all of the uh, the things with it. Uh, so this is where I think it is, right? Yeah, I kind of actually want to go backwards. I want to go this way. Because I don't yet want to... Um, I've already explored all that area, so I want to come back this way. Uh, once again, apologies if you don't know where I am because I refuse to put the compass on. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, I know exactly where I am. Oh, there's a door there. Alright, so down this way is where we have to go. I know exactly where I am on the map because I'm walking the paths. So when I... Whoops. When I look at the map... Like, I can see exactly where I am. Well, I can't now, because I'm in an area that doesn't have a map. Because I haven't sat to a bench yet, but... Interesting. Alright, I'm just going to fall past you. It looks like they're kill. Yeah, they're killable. Cool. I got the, uh, bestiary entry for it. Which is why I wanted to kill it. Alright, you're dead. There's a lot of dudes up there. And also laser guys down here. Ow. I don't want to be lasered. Alright. 
That was a lot of unnecessary damage, but... I remembered now that I can actually kill those laser guys with my uh, pollen. Which is good. I think it's three shot to kill these guys. Alright, fair enough. I cheesed him slightly by going like on the uh on the edge, but I'm okay with cheese. Uh yeah, okay, that was that door that was locked. Okay. So now we just need to go down slightly more. That's annoying. Wait. Interesting. I guess I have to go I'll have to go this way, obviously. And all the way around, under and back up, I assume. Yep. Yeah. Jump and dash. I'll try to put me at the... Putting me at the start seems unfair to me, but... What are you gonna do? <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's that's actually fairly simple timing-wise. That last one is harder. I said that last one is harder. The middle one is fairly difficult as well. Oh, interesting. All right. Alright, that was not as hard as I was making it out to be. Uh... Well, damn. Heal, please. That is how I get that chest, by the way, is this way. <laughs> I just fucking YOLO'd it, I suppose. Once again, that stopped all the pillars. Sweet. Okay, that makes that easier. That area a lot easier. Um, was there anything this way? I wasn't really paying attention. No, not really. It's just the way that you had to come around the pillars, I suppose. Oh, hello. Right. So that's there. Okay. Okay, I know where I am now. Um, once again, <laughs> uh, I am here. Just in the, that area right there. So down and to the right is the way that I have to go. This way. Right, this area was dark, but I have the torch now so I can come through it. Sweet. There was also a couple of, uh, fuck me. Well, I can get back here very easily, I'm not too worried, but the map is updated. Sweet. Yep, that's where I thought it was. Uh, quickest way is actually still to the right. Um, but what I was saying was, now that I've got the lantern, there's actually a few places that I can go that I couldn't go before. I think there was a, there was like a house in the green path, as well as... What's the other path? Hmm. There was somewhere else that was dark that I could go now that I have it. It was a green path and somewhere else. Oh, uh, that's right. It was the green path and also up in the Howling Cliffs, I think. Yeah, here, where this blue thing is. That was dark. And so was... There was a house in the... That one there. Stone Sanctuary. Now I've marked it, I don't care as much because I'll remember to go there later. Oh god. Don't spike me.
Oh god. Just leave. I have some soul. I actually probably should use that soul to murder things. Probably wouldn't spot a port of call. Once again, leave. I don't know why this is so difficult for me. These guys just... I think it's... They... They, they like, kind of syncopate their shots. Yeah, I can indeed fire them away. God damn it. I'm going to kill these guys because they're easy to kill. Uh, the reason I'm killing them, by the way, is to get soul. So that I can heal. If I take damage in the process, it defeats the purpose. But, what you gonna do? Uh, these guys should be easier to kill, I suppose. Oh god. Alright, that's another two health. Far too much time trying to do this. Also, I forgot to start my timer. You don't see me, do you? Alright, sorry about that. Timer started. Pogoing going works. Fairly well. Uh, that's another heal. Alright, so Pogoing seems to be the best strat. The problem is he's really, really high. And he keeps hitting me back into this room, which is a pain in the ass. Alright, good. Well, that was an ordeal. Fucking really? Now just failing platforming jumps. Really. Really, really. Something is wrong with me today. Clearly. I just can't play video games. Uh, I'll cut back to me getting that. And we're back. Oi. I need to get back into the swing of Hollow Knight. Apparently a couple of days off is all it takes for me to, uh, to lose it somewhat. I mean, I guess we're going down because I can't make that jump, right? Nope. If I had a double jump, I could. Interesting. Curse to those who turn against the king. That's a shame to have on your gravestone. Interesting. the way to the right. Well, I guess we're inspecting this then, aren't we? To project the vessel the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon, the teacher, in her archive surrounded by fog and mist, Fog Canyon. Lorian the Watcher, in his spire watching over the city, I guess in the City of Tears, and Hera the Beast in her den amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. I don't know where the hell that could be. 
Uh, through their diversion, Hellenus less, lasts eternal. To protect, to, to protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Interesting. Oh, cool. This same thing happened when we beat Hornet. All this stuff came pouring out and we got spoken to by presumably these three, I guess? Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel? Or by the captive light? A call from beyond the seals? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. They sound kind of... Yeah, see, they appeared last time as well. I guess they're the three dreamers, presumably. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I was about to jump off, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I'm certainly glad I didn't jump off, because then some moth lady appeared. I say lady. It looks- it's pink, which makes me think it's a lady. That's probably how sex is stopped me. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Right. It sounds like I was right. That sounds like a female's voice. What a terrible fate they've twisted upon you. So the developers are sexist, not me. Uh, to cast away <laughs> into the space between body and soul. To cast your way into this space between body and soul. Like purgatory, I suppose. Will you accept their judgment and slowly and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? Hello? Interesting. It looked like a wheel. Taking the dream nail. Oh, I know. It's like one of those, um, what are they called? Dream catches? Where you have like a circle with like the weaving in between them or whatever. Interesting. That's cool. And the light comes out of it to form like a blade, I guess, is what that was. Uh, hold Y. Actually, yeah. Y has not been a button for anything thus far. Interesting. <laughs> hold Y to charge and slash with the nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and waking. I have no idea what that means. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, that's a sound. Uh -huh. Presumably she was the one who woke us up. Sia. Ah, you've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers. They reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into the, that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the Dream Nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit, that sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence. The precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it and bring it to me. Once we've had enough, sorry, once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect a hundred essence and return to me. I will teach you more. Hmm. 
You are still unpracticed in the way of dreams. Collect a hundred essence with the dream nail. Visit me again and I shall share what little wisdom I have. Essence can be found wherever dreams take root. Have you seen them? Those whispering plants that grow all over the old kingdom? I believe there is one just outside. Why not strike it with your dream nail and see what happens? Interesting, anything else? Okay. So you hold it like... What are you doing, poking about in a dusty old mine like mine? Nothing of worth is hidden inside, believe me. But keep probing that world around you with your dream nail. Hidden things will reveal themselves. Dusty old mind of mine. I read it as mine of mine for some reason. Interesting. So I can read people's minds with the dream nail? I was just gonna, I didn't expect anything to do. I was just trying out and seeing how long the charge time was and stuff. Hang on, where, where am I? I don't have a map for this area, of course I don't. Oh, these trees. I've found like a bunch of these. How many were in this one tree, is my question. Also, very Metroid, this uh, level layout, where you've got like a... That's a lot of soul. Eh, nothing. So I'm now going to be hitting literally everything with the dream nail, just so you know. <laughs> 17, 18... 19, 20, 20 per tree, so I only need four more trees and then I have the hundred that I need, and I think I probably know where four more trees are, um, is that a way left, it is a way left, Dream shield. That's a charm, I assume. Uh, whoop, wrong button. Um, this one. Alright. Defensive charm once wielded by a tribe that could shape dreams. Comja's shield that follows the bearer and attempts to protect them. Cool. Um, I need more charm notches, really. I can buy some from... what's her face? So that's something that I'm interested in doing. Um, alright, so there was a way down to the right. I could, like, bash through the ground there. Oh, I just saw this. <laughs> Stag station. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to the store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Interesting. I didn't have to pay for the station. Why didn't I have to pay for the station? I guess maybe so you don't get stuck here if you have no geo. Maybe... Huh. Maybe this is the only way out of this area. I could see that being a thing. The resting grounds. Passions would come here to conduct rituals for those who had passed on. Not any more, though. Perhaps the dead conduct. Sorry, perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now. You get trouble. Stagways. Hop on the plot. All oh, right. Yeah. I have to be on the plot. Hang on a minute. Have I been able to talk to him at all of these bloody stations? I bet I have. Well, you know what's happening next. Um, that's going to be it for this episode, by the way. I'm coming back here to buy this map, and then that's going to be it. And next episode, I'm going to be whacking everyone with the dream nail. It's probably what's going to be happening. Uh, map, please. Ah, <sighs> Oh, whispering root win pin. All right. 
and Warrior's Grave, Tornifer told me he's found some interesting looking graves and triands in the depths. You can use these spins to mark down any interesting graves on your map. Go ahead and pay your respects. I mean, I'm going to buy it, but I, why do I care about graves? I've found a few graves, but... And the resting grounds. A map of the resting grounds, a sacred place not far from the crossroads. Confer told me he found the area serene and calming, but it sounds a bit spooky to me. No thanks. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, <sighs> Have I just been missing conversations with like every NPC in this game? God damn it. Ah, <sighs> Of all the places to end up, we've picked this dreary town. I thought this a temporary shop. Then my husband came, became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is sound business, but other than you, who's buying? Although, yeah, that's kind of true. We're, <laughs> we're solely keeping this couple in business. Um, oh, Sanjo. Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes Hellenus sound a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly dangerous place. Oh, sorry about that, I adjusted my chair. Interesting. Is that it? Oh, form yep. Interesting. Am I missing conversation? Does that mean I can talk to Sly as well? Oh my god. Hmm, you seem a little different. Something has changed in your bearing. Ah, uh, the way you hold your nail. So you've learnt a nail art. Very interesting. Wonder, do you have the passion to continue your training? Ecobus. You found a new nail then. It looks far like a much finer weapon than the last. Hmm. Oh, this is the same nail, but it's been honed by someone extremely skilled. A nail is an extension of ourselves. It is the instrument by which we shape the world around it. Around us. It's a sacred duty to keep its edges sharp. Huh. Sorry, I shouldn't ramble on like that. Let's talk Geo instead. I see they've opened a map shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. Perhaps I should start to sell maps as well. Or is that a little aggressive? Huh. All's fair in the world made of Geo. <laughs> Pockets feeling empty. If you need some more Geo, take a trip into the ruins below us and hunt around. Just take care not to fall into a haze. I won't be coming down to rescue you. Fair enough. We rescued him from a haze. Okay. And I think I bought everything for you, right? Uh, still looking for something to buy. Is your Geo weighing you down? Unfortunately, you seem to have cleared out everything I'm willing to part with. Nothing left at all. I think there may be a few old trinkets down in my storeroom, but I lost the key a while ago. So no more business between us, I'm afraid. For now, at least. Get out of here and let me spend some quality time with all that Geo you've gifted me. Okay, so I need to find a key for him, presumably. Also, presumably, it wasn't the... Uh, uh, also, while I'm here... The white saviour in darkness. Troubled dreams beset the maiden. Her saviour gone, consumed below. Now her only companion, the cold winter, moaning at her door. Her heart flooded with sudden fear. Then still, a sudden calm. Why? A presence? A figure close behind. She doesn't dare look, doesn't dare move. Fearful the slightest action could break the spell. She knew the presence at her bed, knew the calm only they could bring. Her white saviour, now protector, standing tall beside, powerful. Protect. Perfect. Oh, because, yeah, I came in here last time and she was asleep like she is now. <laughs> well, this expanding fanfiction of hers she's got going on. Um... Hmm? Another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving a corpse in your... You'll be leaving many a corpse in your wake. If you don't spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon these... Those in my profession. Do, do as you will, little wanderer. Cut a path toward your goal. I shouldn't complain. It's your kind that keeps folk like me in business. A grave digger. Interesting. Is he a ghost? It's got like the dream nail stuff around him. Oh god. Did I just consume his soul? Well. He's mine now! Absorbed for the greater good. So I guess if I hit ghosts with the dream nail, they disappear. If I hit regular people with the dream nail, I can read their mind. 
How long I must have slept, this land is so much darker now, so thick with the stains of regret. Even the air is murkier. If I sleep again, will the darkness creep in here and swallow me whole? Interesting. Okay, it seems like there's only ever one dream nail conversation by the look of it. Uh, nope. Alright. Alright, so next episode I'm gonna dream nail all the NPCs, and then go back to the Crystal Caverns, I think, and finish exploring there first. Um, then I'll head down to the resting grounds. But thanks for watching, I shall see you next time. And we'll play more Hollow Knight. Bye.